One, two, three. Oh my God, my God. Hi, my name is Wayman Daniels and welcome to Level Up. I have a very special guest by the name of Janice. And today's topic is dealing with hope for the new millennials. Um, Janice, can you tell me what gives you hope to succeed in life and what does hope mean to you? Well, hope for me is um, a belief. It's like believing in something or someone like you have faith that they're going to do something for you or like you just have that faith that something is going to happen, basically. Okay, and so then, hope, hope for you is having belief in something or someone that's going to push you to the next level. Yeah. But what happens when you don't have that support system of hope? Does it? How do you have hope to come from inside without external people to push you? Um, I feel like if you have hope in yourself, you shouldn't have to worry about anybody else having hope. Like you shouldn't have to worry about having hope for anybody else if, if you have hope in yourself. Okay. Um, but I feel like also people plays a bigger part, especially like your loved ones. If you have mm -hmm. hope in them, they push you more because sometimes you can like doubt yourself in certain situations. But if you have somebody in a corner pushing you, and like knowing that you're gonna do it and they like believe that you're gonna do it, it's just 10 times better. Well, let's talk about when you graduated from school. Remember when you graduated a couple years from high school, was your family there to support you then? Yes, and how did they that, were. How did that make you feel? It, it just always, it just made me happy. Like they supported me through everything. Like they supported me like even when I was little Mm -hmm. like in middle school playing basketball and we lost all our games and they still was clapping, encouraging us, making sure that they was there, okay. screaming our name, acting like we're just so good, but we weren't like, they just was always supportive with everything. Even they basically came to like all our track meets, like they would drive super far to make sure that they were there. Like I always had hope in my family. Well, you know, it was it's kind of comical because they made you feel like a superstar, even though you might not have been a superstar. You lost yeah. all the games, but in their eyes, you were always their superstar. That sounds that yeah. sounds great. Um, so now, when you, when we talk about that being a superstar, and they made you feel that you were worth something, that they valued how you felt and what you were doing. Now, how has that helped you in college? Because now you're in college, and what's your major? Um, my major is criminal justice. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So talk to me about that. Um, like far as what, like what so I want to be. Criminal like, justice. What made you want to pursue that field? Well, I always was interested in criminal justice all my life. When I used to watch Criminal Minds or like all those other crime shows and stuff like that, I always was interested in that. And mm -hmm. then, um, actually reading about it and like high school it made me more interested in it because like I'm not really into business I'm not really into being a nurse or being a doctor like criminal justice is like what excites me and mm -hmm. I feel like okay. that's my passion okay like <clears throat> all other stuff so criminal not. justice but when we were talking a little bit earlier your long-term goal is to become a what my long-term goal, I'm debated between two things. It's either being a state trooper, actually three, a state trooper, a judge, or a PO officer. Because I've been looking into a PO officer um, more frequently now because, like, um, if you're trying to, like, move, which I am trying to soon, a state trooper is not really going to be the best fit, but if okay. you're trying to be a PO officer, like you can get an automatic job wherever you go. Okay. So um, debate and they both pay really good. And like, they both have like characteristics that I really like mm -hmm. about them. So mm -hmm. those are my long-term goals. We're talking about hope and you're going to school, you want to pursue being a par parole officer. But one thing that's sticking with me, this family support, not too many families, mm -hmm. young ladies or young men, are able to stay at home and go to school full time. Right. But you, but you have been fortunate enough to be able to stay home. 
and go to school full time, does that take a lot of stress off you knowing that you don't have to worry about a place to save food to eat? And how did that play a role with you still continuing your education? So that played a big part because like I feel like I'm very blessed to like not worry about bills or like yes. car no or car insurance. I'm blessed that I don't have to worry about that stuff. Like I'm basically living for free in a way, but like I still have responsibilities in a yeah, house because like I am a young adult at the end of the day. Yeah. But I feel like um not having to worry about that stuff is plays a really big part. Even though like I still work because I feel like I want my own money. I don't have mm -hmm. want to have to rely on my parents. Yes. But like even having like a whole foundation of just having to not worry about the big things, it just makes my life 10 times better and less stressful yeah. because this college itself is already stressful enough. Yeah. So it's like not having to worry about that is just a blessing, honestly. And this is your second year in school, am I correct? Yes. Second year. And I noticed when you first came on, you mentioned God. And it sounds mm. like to me that God has given you favor all the way around the board. Would you be able to do any of this or all of this without God? No. And like, actually, like, I feel like once my relationship with God became stronger, like I became mm. more successful. And okay. like people actually like seen the light in me and they mm. like trying to offer me so many stuff, like so much stuff, like mm -hmm. my job managers are like asking me to become a manager because yes. like they just so much in me. And I'm just grateful for God, honestly. Wow, wow. You sound like a modern day Joseph. You went from the pit to solid ground. Mm -hmm. All right, I like your story. Is there any, before we go, what, what would you like to say to those that are viewing Level Up? What would you like to say to them that, to give them hope? Um, I would say if you don't have hope, find faith in something. Um, because like if you have faith in something, you won't have to rely on anybody. Like okay. far as if you have faith in God or, or you have faith that a person is always going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. Like that's like your main hope or in, the biggest thing is have hope in yourself because right. without anybody you have mm -hmm. yourself and you're the only person that you can rely on is you and God. If you don't have no relationship with God, you have yourself. Um, so that's what I'll say to those that's watching. Well, thank you for coming to the show called Level Up. Um, for those that are viewing, if you would like to leave comments, you can also watch Level Up on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave your comments below. My name is Wayman Daniels, and thank you. Guess what? Level up. We believe in you, and we also love you, and you can succeed. Thank you for, for coming to the show. Thank you, Johnice. Thank you. Have a nice one. All right. All right.